Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Detroit Become Human. Bad choices. So if you haven't had a chance to play my first blind playthrough, I'll leave a, a link up there if I remember. But for now, let's carry on and make some real bad choices or choices which I wouldn't normally make, or at least I didn't make on the first playthrough. Let's do this. Oh, we are back with Rose. My favourite dear lady. I do like Rose. She's one of those nice, genuine people, isn't she? Let's try not to kill Luther on this episode. Okay, check the backyard. You have to excuse me if I'm a bit shiny and sweaty because I'm in this tiny little room and it's bloody hot. It's like 34 degrees in here. Anyway, let's go and um, let's go see Rose. Let's go see Rose and her. It's her son, isn't it? Hello. I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. Hey, she is. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. I bet Rose would make a really nice, hearty meal. I can imagine she's a really good cook. You yeah, think we in. can trust them? Um. Okay, we got to do different. We got to do different choices. Have to be careful. If it feels wrong, we get out fast. Okay. Obviously, we trust them. I'm with you. But we gotta to try to do the opposite choices we've done before. Again, choices which I wouldn't normally do without killing people. Come in. God, Luther can hardly fit through that door. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? So someone um, left a comment which was very interesting because I was kind of challenging the fact that why isn't Alice got one of those rings on her head? Um, but apparently in one of the articles, if I read it, because the articles apparently do change depending on how I play the game. And um, one of the articles talks about the, uh, the girl android um, hasn't got the ring on her head. So they have covered everything, haven't they? Okay, then I just... Um And it's been it's been a while since I played this game again, guys. I've got so many games on the go that um that I end up doing like a couple of episodes in a row and then not touching it for over a week. Oh, we do know Rose can cook well because she brought up a lovely spaghetti bolognese for Alice. Reassure, explain. Should we just explain? We probably reassured last Don't time. Worry, Alice. These people are going to help us. Get some rest, and this time tomorrow, we'll be in Canada. I promise. Why do humans hate us? 
We didn't do anything wrong. Dead and happy misunderstanding is complicated. I don't know what to say on here. Complicated. Humans are complicated. We are. We are, to be fair. Sometimes it's difficult to understand them. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Let's be pessimistic. <laughs> Sometimes it's easier to hate than to talk. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Uh, so just, just, uh, just eating. I need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? I'll be downstairs if you need anything. See, ask me this. Does Alice know she's an android? Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. Take that, Luther. I'll stay with her a while. Okay. Ask Rose about... Oh, yeah, sort of Rose then. Okay, let's see you later then, Luther. Was there anything around here? I don't think there was anything around here to... Um, I'll probably check before, didn't I? Okay, let's uh, let's do this. Let's go and talk to old Rose. Well, I've got to remember, when the policeman knocks on the door, I have to go and get rid of the blue blood in that cupboard. And if Luther doesn't die, I will re restart the chapter just so he doesn't die. Let's just make sure we know what we're doing. Is I didn't this, get your name. It's in here, wasn't it? God, there's loads of blue blood in there. Ara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you going to tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Um, I suppose we better be cautious, really. It's a long story. All that matters now is that we move on from here and start a new life. I, I just... Oh, okay. Um, many deviants, why help? Yeah, why help her? Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. Uh, many... Do we ask about Rose? You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Do we know Adam that? Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. It's an honest work, honest job, isn't it? Okay, many deviants. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I think we've asked this, actually. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. Uh, let's just insist. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. Right, this is it. A bit nervous. Here. Last time I didn't read it right. I don't know why. Uh, check what's going on. Oh no, it wasn't here. Sorry, this isn't a cop, is it? This is, um... This is the woman, the android girl, female. What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. Oh, have you seen what's in the war? I didn't notice before. It's got the RA9. We escaped together. 
We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? So in the war, RA9 will save. Let them be. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. Oh, this is a, this is a beautiful game, this is. This is a masterpiece, I would say. Take Alice outside. Just take Alice outside. Okay. Which is different. Only because it's different to what we did before. Even be. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. Even the music is so sad. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've screen, already talked about this. I, oh, no! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! The acting in here. The acting, it just gets you, doesn't it? Do you have problems going up the stairs again like you did before? No, last time you sort of walk walked around, I think. Uh, Rose... I feel your pain. Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. I, I almost would say Rose would be my favourite character. You don't, you don't sort of know her long enough, but I think she would be one of my favourite characters in the game, actually. Right, oh, we can get the knock on the door. So this is when I'm a little bit nervous. Let's see if we can... Oh, let's have a look at this picture frame. We, had, we didn't see this before. Oh, that's da that's the dad. Adam's father. Now, we didn't see this before. But, I'm thinking also, can we do something with this? So that's all the blood we need to get rid of. Blood, blue blood pouches, so... Yes. And I think last time, Luther... I'm just trying to get myself ready, prepared. Luther hid in there. Hid in there. <laughs> So we need to be ready. Oh, all right, then, Alice. What do you reckon then? Oh, I'll talk to Luther. I hope Rose gets back soon. Carol, there's something I need to tell you. It's about Alice. Not now, Luther. He knows, doesn't he, that she is android. Or to Adam. So are we gonna make amends with Adam? That should be good. Um explain or confess. We don't explain. want to cause any problems for you and your mother. We'll leave as soon as we can.
police. It's the police. Okay. What are we gonna do? Open the door. Three. Okay. So, um. Oh God, I'm scared. Uh. They know we're here. We have to open the door. That's one, I knew two this left. Was gonna happen. Yes. All right. I'm um Adam. I knew it. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide. Hide upstairs. 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 Come on, Alice. And where, there's one more, there's one more, there's one more. Um, we've got plenty of time. Adam, Adam, Adam. Adam. Oh, hide evidence. Oh my God, it's out there. Didn't even see that. We've got one more left. It might be those people. Um, let's go quickly run. Oh God. Uh, threaten calm, calm. If they see you panicking, it's over. Do you want to get us into trouble? Do you want to get your mother? Into where's the other? Where's the other evidence? Is is it the people? And keep calm, and just do what I say. Hide right, androids. Maybe that's the last one. That's it. That's it. Right. We got eleven seconds left. Let's do this. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Have a tea, officer? Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, no, no. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? Um, Alice. She's in bed. There's my daughter. There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Do you have any androids here? No, no, of course you don't. No, there are no androids here. Like a cup of tea. Excuse me. The cat alarm. Drink it and get out of here. Do you want a biscuit? I always ask them if they want a biscuit. Not police officers, but if I have visitors. They people like you then more. If you have, give them a cup of coffee and a biscuit. They're like, oh, oh, oh. Oh yeah, he's not in there, is he? We didn't have to be wants milk in it. I think we're all right, guys. I, I, th I think we're okay. Not percent suspicion level. Oh, that's Alice's close. Why, why are you looking at that book for? Well, he's like a snooper, isn't he? What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? Be calm. The, the androids, they... Tired. He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? The same no. note. No. I haven't seen anything. That's guilt. He's got guilt written all over his face. Yeah, that Adam. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. 
I'm not sure what I did that for, but... Is somebody else in the house? Uh, washing machine. It's nothing, the, the washing machine. It's an old model, it makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the inconvenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. Ah, oh, it's so nice having a different path now, a different narrative. And we, did, we didn't kill Luther. He's gone. It's okay, Alice. We'll be safe now. It's Rose. Everyone's happy now. She came in crying, didn't she? Get yourselves ready. Oh. We leave tonight. Brilliant. Achievement unlocked as well. Nothing to see here. Yeah, we, we I remember we bugged it up last time, big and proper. So there's still a few other um there's still a few other endings here. I don't know what that is. I have no idea what it is. Maybe that's something if the policeman saw or something. Um anyway, <laughs> let's carry on, guys. Let's do this. This has become my favorite storyline now because he's Our going is all over the news. He's going evil, now he isn't he? Know. Proper evil. They took Marcus's message as a threat. He did the right thing. This is the only language humans understand. Violence is never the answer. A confrontation will get us nowhere. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare! That's enough! And now what are we going to do? Is this when we take the cyber life and set him free? We come out of the... We come out of the gutter? There are five cyber life stores across the tribe. Yeah, it is, isn't it? All selling us like merchandise. We're going to attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people and get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. I'm looking forward to this one because I was, very, I was pacifist before. At this time we can go all oh, how crazy I've been and waiting a long time for this yeah yeah we can go we can go pretty violent on here so this would be a nice kind of change to what we did before oh well, there was a few things like there was a policeman we could kill we spared at the end Look, this way quick this is gonna be um this is gonna be very interesting this is Okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here. Oh yeah, we've got the android up there. I suppose let's convert these guys. Any, any, anyway, because um, you are free. Or do we want to actually? That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. I will stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? Okay, get in the store. Secure the area. Let's do this. Um... You see the alarm system? Yeah, it wasn't up here before. Yeah, here we go. Found it. Right. Well, we don't need to go rain there, do we? We know exactly where it where is now. Where do we now. start? 
I identify the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow me. Yes, sir. Let's release these anyway. I don't think it's as a bearing. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Well, maybe it does. Our I don't know. Drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. Right, let's do this one first, then we can go and do the alarm thing. Um. I don't know what we're doing, not even doing that. We know exactly where to do it, which is basically here. Can we, okay, we, we know this, don't we? Let's just get this done and get to the bad, <laughs> the violent bit. You are free. Go to Jericho. You're awake now. You're awake Go to now. Jericho. Go to Jericho. Do we need to do the ones if we don't? I suppose we have to do this, don't we? To get in. Oh, that's really awkward, these things. Marcus, watch out! Get out! You are committing a Class 3 offence. This infraction is being reported to the police. Stay where you are. Nice! I told you to watch out! Oh, you said watch out, but not what for? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Next time you need to take cover, I'll send you a memo. Oh, right, okay. Oh, shit. Shit. They're coming, Marcus! Abandon mission, Marcus. no. Oh, shit. Act natural. Don't abandon mission. Oh, some of you as well, which is good. What's wrong with you? You crazy or what? The cops were coming. I didn't do something. I thought she would enjoy that. Never do that again. Got it? North. We've got to hurry. We don't have much time. I thought she would actually enjoy that. It'd be fair. We have to block the road. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Right, so that drone's now dead, isn't it? Marcus! So Marcus, come look! I'm not gonna bother releasing these guys. Oh, we're gonna wake him up. That's what I could do, just to make it more, get more violence. You're free now. I think we'll get north on side when we start ripping up the place, to be fair. There. Nobody should bother us now. Right. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. And how do you plan on doing that? We need to find a truck to ram the storefront. A truck? There's construction work in the area. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. Okay, we've got our truck. There it is. And how do we get into the truck? Excuse me, North, please. That's right. What are we waiting for?
Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. <laughs> I always find this awkward. I don't know why. I have got five fingers and... I well, know, I've got eight fingers, two thumbs. I wonder what you'd do without me. I just find sometimes it's a bit awkward, you know? I don't know why. It's just me. This is me. Right, let's smash into the store then. We didn't Looks release like we're those. Ready to make some noise. We didn't release those other androids, but Okay, let's do this. This is where it all this is where the fun begins now, isn't it? Okay. Are we ready? I knew we'd end up doing something fun. She loves it, doesn't she? Alright, let's wake him up. Let's wake him up. Got another Daniel there, look. We haven't seen that one girl there, really. In, like, an actual story. This one here on the, on the left, left of Marcus. All the other ones have been in... In stories. Or her. I don't know who Excuse me, Android, there's too many of you now. You're like us now. Okay, let's jump up and um, give him a speech. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes, to take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm, I'm with you, Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm with you. I'm with you. Respected with Jericho. Then follow me. Right, this is where we can choose now. Choose, uh, <laughs> Marcus, what are you doing? I'm going to send the humans a message. This is where we can ch choose between send the message to the humans, be a passive, be a pacifist or violent. Wow. Let's be as violent as we can then. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Destroy. Lead and they'll follow. That's it, let's just, just, just do have it, let's wreak havoc. Come on, let's do this. 
violent. <laughs> Love it. What else can we be violent towards then? Um, they smash all these windows up, yes, and all the cars. Oh, what can we do with this? Oh, yeah, the, the pipe. Right, let's smash the windows up. If I can steer myself around. Can we smash the cars up as well? Destroy? Yes. Oh, boy. Let's do maximum destruction. I want to do 100% destruction if we can. Did we miss a window, eh? Come on, boys, what are you doing? That's it. I want to smash those cars up as well, really. I wonder if we can smash that statue up. Yeah, so smash that. Well, they can do that. Let's go and smash the statue up. Right, let's um, let's break. Oh, a brick! Well done, well done, North. <laughs> oh, I got a hundred percent violent, but we need to do something with this, I think. We knock his head off. Destroy, that's it. Oh, L team. We'll never be slaves again. North loves it. She loves it. Right, cars. We destroy these cars. Oh, overloads, okay. Uh, a turn. Oh, this is, this, is, this is quite uh, satisfying in a way. Oh, RT. Mark. Violence is the only language humans understand. Yes. <laughs> Take it. What are, we, what are we doing with this then? God. Oh, that's 100% bad, isn't it? We well, asked him, we went up here last time. Wow, what destruction. We freed hundreds of our people. We did it. Marcus. Marcus, what's wrong? What? They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. Now humans will have no choice but to listen to us. They'll be afraid. Fear feeds hatred. I'll take hatred over indifference. Gosh, she loves it, isn't she? What the hell is going to happen then with this storyline, eh? This is the bit I'm not looking forward to. I gotta say, guys, we gotta um, shoot. North, you all right? What happened? We got shot, policeman. They killed them. They slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Who? We're gonna get we're gonna get black eyes again, aren't we? After this. Oh, the, the public. Well, I think I was gonna say they they they're gonna hate us, but I think they do already. The public. Um. They 
killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. Oh God, really? This is this is gonna be not. This is gonna be wrong. This is so you wrong. Don't have to do this. No. I do because I'm playing a bad choices playthrough. against an android shall go unpunished. North likes that. I just want to see his eyes. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Numerous storefronts have been broken with cars vandalized and set alight, leaving many Detroit neighborhoods in chaos. Property was damaged and fires continue to rage in several major districts across the city. The bodies of two policemen patrolling the area were discovered near one of the Cyber Life stores. According According to our sources, the two officers were executed with their own service weapons. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Wow. Uh, achievement unlocked. Burn the place. Oh my god. That was horrible. That was horrible. And we still have, I mean, we got two, the two endings we've now completed, the bad ending, the violent one, and the peaceful one. But in order to get there, we've still missed out a few. So um, not loads, but we've still missed out a few. Hey, let's continue. Right, yes, I know where we are. We are seeing Kams Kamsky, Kamsky, is it? So we will have the opportunity to possibly shoot Chloe on the uh, previous playthrough. We we didn't. We bottled it. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night and he got attacked by deviants. Oh God! They found his body early this morning. He was executed in cold blood with his own service weapon. He became a father three months ago. Fuck. Why'd it have to be him? I didn't know Officer Miller well, but... He seemed to be a good person. Yeah. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Okay, Kamsky. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test, and he's the founder of Cyberlife. Anybody can tell us about deviance, it's him. Love the doorbell. <laughs> Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. I love the way Hank gets all tongue-tied. Okay. Because, you know, she's a beautiful android and all that. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Okay, wait for the android. So I'll do our little... um. Have a little look around. So, one thing, one thing I didn't, um, let's analyze this first. Oh, completely missed that. Well, yeah, was this over here? Now, I completely missed nice this. Girl. I, um, 
Analytical. An RT-600. The first CyberLife android to pass the Turing test. I didn't ask for her technical specs, I just said she was nice. I think you fancy her, Hank. Yeah, so I didn't Amanda. read... Yeah, so I didn't, I didn't read this properly before, because I just let go of the Y and it just disappeared. So, uh, this professor died. He's already dead. So, um... And obviously that's, that's Amanda, as we know now. Okay. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. Let's see if this has changed. Now I thought. Your maker, Connor. How does it feel? Impatient. Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Let's just go and sit down. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Okay, so I thought we'd just sit down and that'd be it. So we'll have to look at that picture on the wall then. Strange, isn't it? It's got some sort of water behind it or something. All right, come on, Andrew. Let's um, get on with the show. Roger, we'll see you now. All right, this is it then. This is the. Uh... Mr. Kamsky. Just a moment, please. I mentioned this before, but I don't know why we'd have a red uh, pool. Because it just looks like blood, doesn't it? Or maybe it's supposed to be red because if it was blue, it would look like android blood. So it's made to look like an uh, human blood for, for that reason? I don't know. <laughs> We look at anything whilst we are oh, here. Yeah, no. So I'm not sure if somebody said that it's Kamsky is the same actor who plays, you know, the the dickhead cop. Is that right? Am I right in saying that? They look fairly similar, actually, but. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Ah, uh, war. If a war breaks out between humans and deviants, millions could die, Mr. Kamsky. It's quite a serious matter. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? Let's be direct. I'm on the human side, of course. Well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? Neutral, treble, defense, aggressive. Let's be aggressive. I believe we're the ones asking the questions. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. 
Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. But what is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool. to you, Connor? your investigation, or the life of this android. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Hank, it doesn't hate well. I think he hates us already. I don't think he can hate us anymore, Test actually. Negative. You choose your investigation of the life of another android, you feel no empathy. I'm a man of my word. Ask one question, and I'll tell you all I know. One question. RA. Yeah, what is the um, RA9? We don't know that. I want to know who. RA9 is. RA9. The origin. The first android to awaken. A strange phenomenon, like a spontaneous religion. I don't know who RA9 is. I don't even know if it really exists. Maybe it's a messiah. Maybe it's just a myth. But deviants need to believe in something bigger than themselves, even if it's irrational. That's uh, something they have in common with humans. Oh, that god. An interesting question, Connor. But maybe not the one you needed to ask. Ah, oh, really? A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people? Or stand against your creators? This one it says is a fail safe. I wouldn't like to be in your shoes, Connor. What could be worse than having to choose between two evils? Well, there's an escape or a fail safe or something in there, he says. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. That's what I meant. Emergency exit, yes. You never know. Which is what Con had to do right at the end when Marcus was on the stage and he, he, yeah, he pulled out his gun and... You shot that girl for fuck's sake. It wasn't a girl, Lieutenant. It was a machine that looked like a girl. You put your gun against her head and you blew her fucking brains out! I did what I had to do to advance the investigation and I'd do it again if I had to. You're a lowlife. You don't feel a thing, do you? machine that's what you are you're just a fucking machine of course i'm a machine lieutenant what did you think i was i thought you i thought oh, fuck. i hate doing this to hank I thought I was going to run him over then. Uh, taxi. 
Wow. Another achievement unlocked. Priorities. Okay, we're getting a few achievements with this. So Hank was disappointed with Connor's decision. Uh, so yes, there was another question. There was two other questions we could have asked. So we didn't answer the right one. So yeah, we got we got most. There's a few little ones here and there, but we got I think we got most of them. Probably requires another playthrough or two. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to leave that there. So hopefully I'll uh, see you on the next episode. Until then, take care. <laughs>